Eight years ago, in 2016, React was really becoming a thing. GraphQL uh, was just being announced by, by Facebook and we thought, okay, we can take those thing and things and mix them together and, and build the tool of our dreams, the, the mm. backend as a service to rule them all. Initially, we didn't create Prisma. We created something we call GraphCool. And GraphCool is much similar to what Superbase is today. And we, so we uh, did a speed run of this experience uh, and we ran into exactly the same problems that uh, Firebase had passed before us had. And what we found is that our, our best customers, real organizations, Fortune 2000 companies, they would make prototypes and then as soon as they had validated mm. the prototype, they would allocate a real budget with a real team of engineers and rebuild it with real technology. And there was no graph call involved. That was a big a big problem for us, obviously, because we are to, to make a business, to, <laughs> to, to make money and sustain ourselves. <laughs> so we went and talked to those people. And what we found is that the, the part that they really liked from graph call was the database abstraction. What do you know as Prisma Schema today, mm. that existed mm -hmm. already back then and was informed by the way GraphQL has a schema. They liked how it was easy to work as a team on the database structure. And they liked the GraphQL-like uh, query interface to the database. So we took those two things and we turned it into what is today Prisma. So tell me when you started it eight years ago, what was like the inciting incident? What made you say, oh, I just, I just love databases. I got to do this company. 